Penal substitutionary atonement teaches that Jesus died in our place, bearing the punishment of our sins upon himself. Some claim this idea wasn't invented until the Middle Ages, but let's look at some history. In the late first century, Clement wrote this, Jesus Christ, our Lord, gave his blood for us by the will of God, his flesh for our flesh, and his soul for our souls. Around the end of the first century, the epistle of Barnabas reads, For to this end the Lord endured to deliver up his flesh to corruption, that we might be sanctified through the remission of sins, which is effected by his blood of sprinkling. In the early fourth century, Athanasius wrote, He surrendered his body to death instead of all and offered it to the Father. He is the life of all, and he it is that as a sheep yielded his body to death as a substitute. St. Augustine wrote, And as he died in the flesh which he took in bearing our punishment, he was cursed for our offenses in the death which he suffered in bearing our punishment.